So if you go to a doctor or a provider and they tell you that testosterone replacement therapy or hormone replacement therapy is dangerous and that you have to donate blood because your hematocrit is too high or that your blood is too thick because of your high hematocrit. Here's another reason of 3000 number 849 why you need to go to a clinic that has your best interest at heart and actually knows what they're doing. So hematocrit does not tell you if your blood is thick or that you're at an increased risk of a blood clot. Hematocrit measures the percent of oxygen in your blood or percent of your blood that is made up of red blood cells. It is an indicator to give you more of a ratio, okay? It tells you how your body can actually, um, its capacity to carry oxygen. So your red blood cells contain hemoglobin, which transport oxygen throughout the body. So if you have a very high hematocrit, you know, it can signal things like dehydration or simply just living at high altitudes. It just means that your blood is more concentrated. It does not mean that you're going to have a blood clot because your hematocrit is elevated. If you go off of the guidelines uh, about hormone replacement therapy, the insurance-based guidelines, which are outdated by probably 50 years by now, they're going to tell you to stop testosterone when your hematocrit is above 52. And if you go to a clinic or a provider that doesn't know what they're doing, they're going to have you blindly donate um, blood every couple of months. And as a result, it's going to plummet things like your ferritin, which if you have a phone or a internet connection or a laptop, go on Google and type up these symptoms of low ferritin or iron deficiency, which are not the same. But if you look up the low ferritin, you're going to notice a lot of the symptoms which mimic low testosterone. Things like fatigue, um, shortness of breath, um, difficulty focusing, uh, low energy and motivation. So you're going to combat the issue that you're trying to help with testosterone replacement therapy. There's another little tidbit on how not all providers are the same. Go to a clinic that really knows what the hell they're doing. Have a nice day.